for a classic style fly where you actually marry all the different coloured fibres together using, obviously you can use natural as well as the dyed. Uh, these were used to construct flies many many years ago and this is used a built wing basically it's, it's really it's great fun to do basically what you'll need to find is some turkey tail some white dyed you can use uh, other materials as well goose shoulder or so but turkey is very very good uh, it's not that expensive it's hard to get the quality though you're looking for and especially if you look at this you got a lovely straight edge there's very little stress mark stress mark is basically an area where you'll get a set of lines forming and you probably you'll see some stress marks along the top of there the white there kind of darker lines and then you've got there's lots of other materials you can use but this here is basically just wild turkey turkey tail again you've got the length and you can see the area where I've been using now this is the, the far side part of the wing and I'm going to repeat this for the near side or my side and uh, basically once you've done that obviously the next stage is to actually apply it to the actual the hook constructing the fly just like this here so there's a lot of work in it but it's great fun now the makeup of the wing is on yellow, orange, red, blue and as I said it's a natural turkey now I'm going to start off with the yellow and what you do here is you line up the points do that and lightly touch the fibres together now I'm going to separate them by running a needle between the fibres and get two your eyesight has to be very good for doing this so basically I went two orange, two yellow and I lay that down for the next part of the wing the next colour is going to be red and again just line them up lightly touch, lightly allow the, the fibres to marry themselves don't be too hard on them if you're too rough with them they'll, they'll not want to marry basically then again went two red fibres just run your needle to separate slide down it's looking ok get some some blue again line them up the best way you can basically it's nice and light put your needle in separate Take your time. Now what I'm going to do next, the construction of the wing, I've got some brown turkey separating all the colours from there on. Now this is ten, at least ten fibres here, I want two of each. Again line them up, just nice and lightly, just touch it down. Again Using your needle, separate two fibres away. See how it's sitting. Tuck it's just a wee touch long, so I'm going to pull, slightly pull it, and then bring it back down. Now, the first one's going to be the yellow. Line them up. Again, just look and see how it's sitting. Now, two or three. There's three fibres there, so I'm going to take one of my weight. Just use a needle to do that. See how they're sitting. Looking okay. Again, I'm going to repeat using the brown turkey. Just line it up. Just take your time. Again, you need another two. Run your needle up. 
So I often check and just see how it's sitting. Next would be the orange. Just bring it into your fingers. Lay it down. Touch it. I will. The, the fine hairs, much like as close to Velcro as you'll probably get slightly, will lock together. Again, same again. Line it up. Just take your time. Take two. Just double check. So you've got to have some really, you've got to have good eyesight, plenty of light to see what you're doing. It's okay. And again, now with the red. Pull it in, lie it down, touching all the way around. Right, there's three fibers there again, so I'm going to take one of the red away. Just want that nice shape, that nice taper here. Top always the longest. On with the brown turkey again. Just touch all the way down. Get two fibers and we need to separate. Just keep going. Blue is next, or last. Especially the last of the dyed turkey. Pull it in. All the way down. And then finally, your turkey on top. Now there's a twist in one of these, but let me see where it's going. It's okay. Just pull it in. Down here, touching. There you go. Now it hasn't touched there, so basically just come in with your needle. And allow the fibers to form, and then just again, there's maybe there's two, one too many there, so I'm just going to take one out all the way up. Basically, take your time now. That's your right and your left wing, and then line them up. Your feather or your wing to be tied on, and that's basically that's that there is your hardest point. There is actually pulling these together, and you see you have a right and a left. Get the shape you'd like in your wing and the length, and there you go, and that's a married wing full feathered wing using turkey.